What is up, Fishtown? All right. We're going to play some games here. It's time to play winners and losers. I'm hoping you're all winners, but you know we love a good loser here in Fishtown. Now, this man is not a loser. Not a loser. Silver Oceans. I popped into his auction the other day just randomly. Well, let me backtrack. So I've just had the good fortune of catching oceans at always the right time. So a while back, I popped into his auction. This guy was going up for sale. This is, um, let me show you here. So this is number, I think that's upside down. Number nine, nine of nine, okay? And it is, uh, let's check out the weight. This is 2022, one, what does that say? 173? It's hard to tell. I think that says 173. But we need to know exactly because we're about to weigh it and check it out. Or no, 113. One, one, I don't know. 113 one, maybe. Maybe. So anyway, so I popped into um, his auction. Boom. Now this is, you say that's number nine. Yes, but. And Oceans knows this is true and everyone else at the freaking auction knows this is true. This was the first one he sold, so I actually bought the very first one. So that's right. So as far as I'm concerned, number nine is number one. Okay, that's just the way it is. And then a little later, like, I don't know when it was, while while later, I just happened to, I was at the gym, I was between sets, I just flipped up, hey, what's going on YouTube to see who's you know, live or whatever. Oceans is live. I flip him on, he has an auction for this guy. It's a toned up version. And let's see. We can show it. I think I'm upside down. It's number 10. That's right. So I had number 9 and 10. And I think that says... That looks like a 170. So I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to read the stampage on the sides. But I might have to get a little bit more magnifying glass on these. But... um. Yeah, so I got nine and ten. All right, you're like, where are you going with this fish? Okay, so um, and then you know these are all my other these are all my channel rounds. Everyone, channel bars or channel rounds. There are some. Uh, the majority of this is poured stuff. A large portion is the pirate stacker. He's here, 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 and here. Um, this is a special bar. Even though it's my own personal bar, it's from Bob Woj, so it's like Bob Woj's channel bar to me even though it's custom made for me. But um, yeah, this is a five ouncer. He sent this to me, had this made many years ago. Bob Woj, everyone loves death from below. Uh, yeah, we got retired Aloha, he's no longer there. Man, we got Kansas Kid, we got Raven, Silver Struck. Now these two had a competition here, Struck and Raven. Struck won just barely, basically because she forgot the she forgot something on her stampage. She forgot to put, oh, we needed the fractional, right? Like point whatever or something. I forgot exactly. Oh, no, no, no. It was on the serial number. She needed the zero in front of the seven. It just said seven, but we like to see like a zero, zero, seven, something like that. So she ended up losing out, but not by much. She was the people's champion. And the fact that she hand poured this herself and then hammered it um, just made it amazing. Absolutely. It's got the date, the three nines, the whole deal. There you go. There's the seven, which we were hoping for a zero seven. And it, had she had the zero seven, we did a point system. It was tit for tat. And let me tell you what, she lost. Struck remains champion. Now there's a new challenger in town. His name is Silver Oceans. Real quickly, the final ones: Pioneer Mint. This is J.K. This is Powdered Donuts. Don't ask. This is Vintage Powdered Donuts. This is Current Powder Powdered Donuts. We got Sheree Ward. We got Capital Currency. Now, Cap, I have a beef with you. So I bought this one, number one. Go on his auction. A few days later, he's selling more number ones. I'm like, what the heck? In his defense, they're like a different variation. But I thought I bought the only number one that would ever exist. Turns out there's multiple number ones. I'm just letting that sink in for you. Multiple number ones. What the heck, Cap? But regardless, I got the first number one. And it is sweet. The poor lines are awesome. Cap, Cap is the man. I'm just busting your chops. Seriously, dude. What the heck? Um, but Cap is the man. Cap is the man. We love Cap. We love the capital currency. And then we have, uh, this dude's retired. The swagger. K 
Captain Jack Swag. I'm not sure why he retired, but he did. Oh, this is uh, Bullion Baby, which I don't know what he goes by now. Um, AG Stack percentage. And this is Spokane Silver Stacker. So there we go. All right, we're way too far into this video. Six, five minutes. Holy cow. All right, so let's get into it. It's been, it's been a while since we had a good dragon one on. All right, so boom. Check these out. Let's, we need to go for some magnification. These are two ounces, three nines. We got the Silver Oceans right there on the right. Three nines, two Troy ounces. Got the same thing over here. Now, if you're like, wow, you got two of them. I did, but check this out. Here you go. We've got the prototype. You can see the back's a little bit janky there. And then we've got the 001. Now, Raven, that's what I'm talking about. Had you had 007, which was, I mean, it was a layup. I, we set that up for you. Like, I, I requested number seven, obviously, 007. But, um, yeah, had you had that, you would have beat Struck. But you didn't. And you didn't. These are killer. These are absolutely killer. So, I've got quite a few of these two-ounce variety uh, channel bars. And I now have... I, I'm just calling these down here one ounces, but they're heavier than one ounces. So I don't know if these are closer to two ounces. I got to weigh these things out. I don't even know what they're at. These two are both two ounces. I know that. So I have at least six ounces, and I might be closer to seven ounces of Silver Oceans Silver. That's killer. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put everyone to the test. I've never done this. I hope you all pass. If you do not pass, it's on you. Okay. 100 grams. There we go. We're at zero. All right. Let's check it out. Oh, wait. We don't want to be on We don't want to be on grams. This is Troy. Here we go. 2.006. That is the prototype. The prototype came in at 2.006. Very nice. Now for the number one. I like how he did the toning on the St. Gaudens stamp in there it's not an inlay it's just a stamp pretty cool huh pretty cool 2.01 absolutely all right so the prototype was dead on the number one is dead on all right oceans you have passed the test you have passed the test now the question is and we'll just give one last one last quick look see here show these off just a little bit more so We've got an interesting design. You've got like a step feature. Okay. And, uh, you know, he was talking about there being like some cracking or something on the prototype. I'm not 100% sure where, you know, he, he sees it. He knows what, what his stuff should look like. Maybe on the edges there, like right there. Something like that. And then the number one, you can see it's just a cleaner. Cleaner one. But, you know, I got the proto. I had to snag the number one. Had to do it. Um, my only criticism, there's no crannies. We got no crannies. But we do have some nice pore lines. Do have some nice pore lines. Nookage. There's really not a lot of nookage. He does a clean pore, man. We, we got no nooks, no crannies. How do you do no nooks and no crannies? Well, I guess you get no. That's, I mean, that's, that's a clean pore. The dude knows what he's doing. I mean, I do like the nooks and crannies, but, you know. So, anyways, all right. Excellent job, Oceans. Outstanding. We're going to put you... Uh, excellent job. All right. So, we're going to put you right there. So, now I thought, let's put some other people to the test. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, first, let's find out how much these weigh. 175. Okay. So, I'm up to 575. 176. So, these are one and three quarter ounces. So that's um, what I say. I was, I was at so that's six plus so, some seven and a half, seven and a half ounces of oceans. That's what I've got. Seven and a half troy ounces of oceans silver. Now Raven says it's a one point eight nine. This came in second place. It was the people's champion. She everyone loved it. Even struck voted for Raven. So, you know, that's how strong of a of a two ounce chunker this was. 
1.891 and 1.89. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I love about this community, right? They're awesome pours. Now this is Aloha. This was poured by Silversmith Shield or Silver Silver Shield Smith, something like that. Smith the Shield Silver. I don't know. All right. It says two ounces. Comes in at 2.45 ounces. Wait, is that possible? It says four ounces. Comes in at 2.44 ounces. That is a, a chunky monkey right there. And that is... All right, so I'm going to say with Silver Shield, I've, I'm already... I'm going to ding you. I'm just, just grading you. <clears throat> this is horrible, okay? This is an amazing round. We love this round. It's 2.44. Four, four. Why does it say two? This should say 2.44. I mean, unbelievable. Not cool. Um, all right, Cap. We have no idea what this weighs. I think it's a one ouncer. It is a number one. It does not have the weight on there. So we love the pour lines. We love everything about it. I like the flat matte finish. I like the stampage. 1.04. There you go. Right there at one ounce. Absolutely. All right. Cherie Ward. Now let's see what Cherie's got here. Number four. We have no weight. 0.95. Just under one ounce. Coming in just under one ounce. Now there's no claim to weight on here. This is a channel round. And I don't think it was claimed to be anything other than approximately one ounce. So let's see if there's anything we're missing on the back. No. Just some weird thing there. Not sure about that. Hold on. We're gonna... Yep, we sent it down the slide. Everything's cool. It's legit. We're putting you through your paces. All right. Um, T, the silver stacker. I mean, T is world famous amongst the community. I've got a number two. He says this is one ounce on the nose. One ounce on the nose. Let's see, T. What is it? It's 1.08, T. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna call that a pass. That is a pass. All right. Now we get to powdered donuts, a.k.a. don't ask. 1.2, number 11 from the donut mint. 1.3, he says 1.2, he erred on the side of caution. My question, so probably, it probably came in under 1.3 on his scale, like probably 1.29, so he put 1.2. But my scale shows at 1.3, so I wish that said 1.3. But I totally get it. Like you should never, if you're, if you weigh it out and it comes in at whatever, 2.2. Two nine, you don't put, or you could put 2.29, but if you're going to just put two digits, you would put 2.2, not 2.3, right? All right, now these are going to be interesting. It's three of the same pours, different finishes, all from the donut. It says they're one ounces. Let's see. We got 1.07. Wow, that is nailing it. Oops. We got 1.1, 1 1.01. Right in there. Let's see. Last one. My favorite. The antiqued. 1.06. Or 1.006. Wow. That is some precision pouring by the donut. The donut does not mess around. Precision. Absolutely. All right. This will be interesting. This is a zinc bar. And let me tell you what. If this doesn't weigh exactly what Pirate says it weighs, there's going to be heck to pay. It's my inefficient stacker. Zinc bar. It is in Troy ounces, it says. 5.29. Man. Pirate. It's 5.29. Why does it say 5? We could have had a partial number. We could. Let's see. Oh, that's that's number 5. But I thought I had a weight on here somewhere. There's some, too much information. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. 5 Troy ounces. Man. Come on. It's 5.29. I'll give it to you, though. A, it was free. B, you know, as long as you're stamped with a number that's at or below, never above. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, 
Bob Woj's bar. Now this was poured by Silversmith Shield. So if this is not exactly at 5.0, that is no fault of Bobby's. 5.25, all right, once again, Silversmith Shield. This is twice now, all right? He poured this one and he poured this one. This is 244, it says two. This is 5.25, it says five. This should say 5.25. This should say 2.44. Unbelievable. Now I can talk trash about Silversmith Shield because he is no longer in the community and I'm mostly speaking in jest. Although there is a hint of seriousness to what I'm saying. Okay. Um, the Swagger, 1.6. Did we rate his yet? Let's see. 1.71, all right. So on his scale, it probably showed like 169, whatever. So he put 1.6. No, I have no issue with that. No issue with that at all. No issues. Um, I think we've checked everybody. Um, yeah. Oh, oh man. All right. We did not check this guy. Now this says it's two ounces. This is the reigning champion of the classiest, classiest channel round in the community. The reigning champion. 2.012. You would expect nothing less from the classiest stacker in the community. Expect nothing less. No reason to weigh these plastic. The plastic. This is one ounce, one ounce, one ounce. We know this. Um, this is actually an Inglehard, and the reason it's in here is because this is Bucks Nation's channel bar that he gave me for congratulations when I turned a grandfather in 2023, and he had it. I think that silver struck. Let me know what what are we talking here? Is that pebble back? We pebble back here? I'm not sure what that is. Um, but that's on an Inglehard, and then, then the Pioneer Mint. How cool is this guy? He's so classy. He doesn't even. He, people just accidentally make his channel bars without him even having to try. And then Ag Stacker, one of the first guys in the community to come out with a uh, um, this sort of channel round. I got number two. I want number one, but, you know. Oh, Bullion, baby. All right, come on. Let's check him out. Let's see. Now, this says, let's see, what does that say? 1.1 ounces. Or no. Yeah, 1.1. I got number seven. Let's check it out. What are we weighing in at? 1.14. He nailed it. The guy, this is uh, Bullion, baby, a.k.a. Fire for Effect. And he absolutely nailed it. No issues there. Um, would expect nothing less. So I will say in the two ounce variety, we're just going to use number one. We're going to set the prototype, which, we're, yeah, there we go. In the two ounce variety, we now have more. I may have to put this up in a channel post. So, oh, we did not check the Kansas kid. What am I doing? What am I doing? What is that? 1.96. 1.961. I mean, that's as close. That's the that's the closest one. That's within 0 .001 of stampage. You nailed it. So does this count as two ounces? It's under. It's under. But it's close. So these are the two ounce varieties. And then this one is just out of control at 244. Why that's not stamped on there, I have no idea. Um, oh, we did not, hold on. We did not put spoke to the test. Now, Breach is who pours his. And I believe, hold on. All right, this should be 1.62. This is Spokane Silver Stacker, 1.62. Yes, I have the number one. I have the number one. 1.625. You nailed it. Way to go, Breach. Good job. Spokane Silver Stacker. So that's not heavy enough to qualify into the two ounce variety, but we, in the two ounces, in the, the, I mean, it's time to do a new competition, I think. Uh, I don't know if Oceans can defeat uh, any of the reigning champs, but um, he could give them a run for their money. Uh, I will say, uh, you know, would love to hear your thoughts. What is your opinions? Do you have a preference? Do you, I mean, this. This guy right here, I, I might, honestly, I'm considering commissioning this man. He is, he just does some phenomenal stuff. This is out of sight. This was incredible, although he did not pour it himself. He did not pour this. Oceans poured this. So, um, I don't know. 
what do you think? I, it, it might be time to do another two ounce competition. Uh, and we could have, uh, I, I don't think this can be in there. One, he's not, in the, he's not really hanging out in the community much. And two, it's just out of control at 2.44. So he, for size, it's kind of overpowering everyone. But these are all right within that range. And of let's see, this is the yeah, 189, 196, 2.0, 2.0. So all and man, look at her pore lines on there. Raven, you just I mean, crushed it. This is one of the coolest channel bars going. Um, yeah, so we might, we might do another competition. Am I missing anybody in the two ounce variety? All right, so those are my crits. We got some new credentials. We might put up a uh we might do a new competition at some point. Maybe I'll put up a a, a channel post let everyone vote I'm not sure but um, what I am happy to say is that there were no losers every single person in here met or exceeded the stamped numbers now two people Aloha and Bob far exceeded it to the point that the person who poured it I wish they would have stamped the actual correct weight um, so that's a little pet peeve of mine. But regardless of that, this is probably my, it, of all the silver I have, of every bit of silver, I think everything I could sell. I don't, I really don't think there's anything I would not sell. Although I say that, I do have these, I do have these bones from Spoke, my Sasha and Koshi bones. So those would never get sold. And this would never get sold. So even though I, I'm not thrilled that he didn't stamp it correctly, um, it is five ounces. It's actually five and a quarter ounces. And at today's silver prices, it would be nice to have that on there. But the fact that I would never, ever sell this to begin with, um, I don't really care. This is my favorite piece of silver that I have. From a veteran, from death, from below to death, from above. Uh, it's just, it's hard to beat that. Um, set the bone is down over here. But, uh, yeah, everybody exceeded. I mean, Oceans, you nailed it. Awesome job on the prototype, the number one. Your rounds are killer. Um, there's, you know, Cap. I was just busting your chops about that number one. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Cap. Cap gets sensitive sometimes because he's a nice guy. And you know what? Nice guys have feelings, okay? So, uh, nothing wrong with that. Um, AG Stacker, 17 <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm just off my rocker stick. All right. Bullion nailed it. I didn't weigh this. That's copper, but it's all right. Oh, 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 what am I thinking? 41.46 grams. This is over. This is over. This is over one ounce. 41 point. All right. Let's check the Troy ounces. Let me, let me recheck the three word. Yeah. She's just under 29. All right. So let's see. All right. Ounces, uh, ounces, ounces, Troy. Should think she came in at like 9.5. There we go. Pirate. So what is this? This is like 1.3. 1.333. 1 Bro, my bad dog. I, I, uh, I was knocking you there. I wasn't knocking you, but I just didn't think. I thought it was under an ounce. I thought that's how you sold them. I thought they were all. I might be thinking of someone else's channel rounds. So this is actually 1.3. It's over an ounce, which makes sense because it looks massive. Um, all right, I've I've given you guys 26 minutes of of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. The only things that we did not highlight was Cherie Ward's one of a kind, her very first copper pour. It's a fish pour. It said, oh, let's check her. It's 7.19. So I think you don't do Troy though on this. You do in copper. I think you just do regular ounces. 7.14. Seven point one nine. You know what though? Hold on. I think there's a problem. Let's see. Because it's like hanging off my seven point four. Seven point four. Well, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right for copper. I have it at as regular seven point four two regular ounces, not Troy ounces. Uh, and she has it stamped at seven one nine. All right. She says it's chunky. It's clearly not chunky. Miss Ward. She's the best. Keeps stuck in the credentials.